It's too little too late. A protest in the Livernoy construction zone today as businesses struggle to stay afloat. One business owner tells us since the streetscape project began, his business is down some 70%. They say a lack of parking, torn up sidewalks, and a street that looks like a war zone have their customers doing their business elsewhere. And the city's efforts to help them came way too late. Rod Maloney is live along Livernoy tonight. Rod, the mayor even admits now this was worse than expected. Yeah, it's not gone well, uh, Jason. And here's the thing. It, the generational cry has been, what about the neighborhoods in the city of Detroit? And well, here we are. They're digging up Livernoy in the neighborhood, Seven Mile in Livernoy. But the city's probably a little bit out of practice and they've had a learning process here. Civil rights groups and some local business people braved the dug up Livernoy and Seven Mile intersection, angry at what's become of what the city has long called the Avenue of Fashion. Vincent Sheffield owned a now closed pizza shop. 60% of my business customers stopped coming. So you can't take a 60% loss and stay open. So it's, it's very difficult for a lot of businesses. Now the city's offering business loans to those seriously inconvenienced. Sheffield says grants are what they really need. Initially, there wasn't a plan for us for survival. So six months before any ground should have been broken, everything should have been put in place for the businesses to survive, and it wasn't. Mayor Mike Duggan admits this major transformative project has not gone as well as it should have. And it may have been a mistake to go from seven to eight mile in one year. Uh, although the businesses wanted that because they wanted to have it over with, but we were not as well prepared for that level of construction as we should have been. Yet some business owners say for all the trouble the construction has caused them out here, a protest is not the look they want for their soon to be shiny new business district. Chef Omar Mitchell owns the table number two restaurant. Definitely I don't like the protest. I'm not a big fan of, of, of arguing and uh, debating about things. Uh, let's sit down as uh, professionals and talk things out. So when is this going to start looking like something normal? Well, we're told by the city that the parking is going to be finished and the street should be ready to roll as the new district as of the end of November. They'll have some things to do in the spring, but the major portion of this will be finished fairly soon. Back to you. Yeah, I know, Rod, and when people go through there, that just seems like it seems like forever before it's going to look better. What about the loans versus grants demands, by the way? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's interesting because the program that's in place is really a loan to grant program anyway. In essence, we're told that the business owners who take out a loan only have to pay small amounts of money over the first two years. And then to for the rest of it, it would actually be forgiven if they can handle the rest of that. So it's looking like they're just venting out here as a way to sort of bring attention to the fact that this has not gone particularly well. Yeah, and hopefully they get uh, it looks better very soon. All right, Rod, thanks.